Apo. The black soldier fly larvae is high in proteins. I can test to that because since I started uh, feeding it uh, to my chicken after switching from the uh, previous tradition of feeds, I have discovered that my, chi uh, my chicken have handed weight almost double. The length of eggs has doubled. Actually, even uh, I have increased uh, my distribution. And uh, the plovy. I saw it ever since because it, it, it has more than doubled. We get organic waste from the market, from the beer factory and from industrial food manufacturers. It's brought pre-sorted to Insectipro, making sure that we only get the waste component. Once it arrives at Insectipro, we mix it all together in our machines. Once it's been mixed, we add the black soldier fly larvae to the product. The black soldier flies eat the organic waste for 10 days, and 10 days later they start to have brown butts, and that's when we know that they're ready for harvesting. We harvest them, meaning that we separate them from their poop, aka fertilizer now, and then the black soldier flies are washed and then dried in one machine, and the fertilizer is got put onto a compost heap for two weeks. And when it's a bit drier, then we package it, and then it goes directly to farmers. In the animal feed industry, there are two current sources of protein. There is fish meal and soy. Fish meal used to be able to be found locally in large quantities because of Lake Victoria, but over the years it's dwindled. It's used for human consumption, it's used now for animal feed, there's a lot of competition, meaning that our lakes are overfished. This is very environmentally degrading to the seas and to the oceans. What we've seen now is more of a shift towards black soldier fly meal because it's something that can be produced locally, sustainably and using a circular manner meaning that it's a better alternative to the fish meal that companies used to use. We've seen a high adaptability rate during COVID period. Black soldier fly are very useful commercial insects because, one, they, pro they provide cheap source of proteins that can be used to
produce animal feeds proteins and the conversion rates are very good almost 23 percent of the waste is converted to proteins um two they are used the the the, the waste that are the remnants what it remains because they convert about 70 percent of what they are given to feed on what remains the, that percent from their droppings which is called freeze is used as organic fertilizer and the fertilizer has been shown to be as good as fertilizers from inorganic sources in terms of content of ammonia. Three, um, they, are, they are environmentally useful way of managing organic waste. And you find that in most urban areas, 70% of the waste is organic. And therefore, black soya fly can be used to manage that waste instead of using other ways to decompose it. Four, um, the black soya fly is not known to transmit diseases like house fly. You know, there is a, a, an insect transmitted diseases. The black soya fly does, it's not known to transmit any disease. And because it mainly feeds on organic wastes, 